At 11, a local mother is speaking out after she says her teenage son was assaulted. The alleged assault happened last month at a Norfolk high school. Brenda McIntosh joins us in the studio after speaking to this mother. Brenda, what can you tell us? Ronette Barnes tells me a group of students assaulted her 15-year-old son during the school day at Lake Taylor High School. She says she wants to share her story in the hopes this doesn't happen to anyone else's child. Norfolk police say four teenagers are facing charges over an alleged assault at a Norfolk high school last month. Police say a fight at Lake Taylor High School on February 6th left a 15-year-old boy with minor injuries. However, Ronette Barnes says the fight left her son with vision loss. Kicked him, stomped him, everything, all in his head and all in his face. So I took him to the hospital. Um, he has damage in the back of his retina. Barnes says panic ran through her when she learned a group of teens attacked her son. She says her son is epileptic. Any blow to his head or anything like that can trigger a really bad seizure. In a statement to 13 News Now, a spokesperson for the school division said in part, Norfolk Public Schools does not comment on student matters. As always, the safety of our students and staff is our priority. Barnes says her son hasn't been back to school since that day. He does not feel safe at that school. I do not even feel safe with him going back to that school. Barnes says she hopes her son's experience prompts change in the school division. Because when my son leaves home, I expect him to go into an environment where I don't have to worry about him until he comes back home and he come back home the way he left. Norfolk police say the teen boys charged are three 15 year olds and one 14 year old. They're facing charges of malicious wounding and assault by mob. Brenna McIntosh, 13 News Now. Thank you so much for that report, Brenna. Norfolk police say the investigation is still ongoing.